When it comes to D&D boss fights, a place I constantly go to for inspiration are video games. Undertale, in this instance, being one of them. And there's a certain fight in Undertale, we're gonna get to it. Maybe you can guess when we get to the meat and potatoes of the mechanic of this boss fight, maybe you can guess what boss in Undertale it is. But right now, uh, yeah, I made my group just like you saw in the title. I made my group fight a K-pop group, okay? I put a lot of time and effort into making a dumb K-pop group, including lore personas for each of them. Uh, like the glow sticks, the name was Love Drive, and the glow stick was a steering wheel with a heart in the center of it. It was really cool. I dug it. A lot of the players dug it. I even made a K-pop playlist for that session of what their like set list was going to be that night of different K-pop songs. It was fun. I'm basically just telling you, go ham with it. And it doesn't have to be a K-pop group, okay? It can be a band, just like a regular band. So here's your disclaimer now. I have six players. They were all level six or seven around that range when I threw this at them. No one died. There are no TPKs, but I do base all of my boss fights balanced around the power of friendship and that they're just going to figure it out. And they figured it out every single time. And so getting right into it, armor class of 15, hit points 150 at 150, size medium, they're humanoid, speed of 30 feet, strength 8, dex 18, column 16. The reason why the column being so high, you're singing, you're dancing for a long period of time. Gotta have high cock. That's just how that works. Intelligence 12, wisdom 14. A whopping charisma of 22 because they are a K-pop idol. And if you've met K-pop fans, they go crazy, right? So they gotta have a high charisma. Saving throws, dex, wisdom, con, skills, acrobatics, and performance are the two big ones with expertise in both of them going on kind of like the bard flavoring. Persuasion, deception, insight. This was mostly for, of course, out of combat when they were kind of trying to get an advantageous situation, gather information. I had this character be very good at lying and very good at telling, like seeing if you're lying. Damage resistance is psychic. You're gonna get thrown a lot of hate in the way. With fame comes responsibility. And you gotta be able to go with the blows. So made them resistant psychic just because, hey, I gotta be able to take a few hate comments. Condition immunities, charmed exhaustion, senses, passive perception 12, proficiency bonus of a 4, audience rating 5 stars. We're going to get to the audience rating in a little bit here. Stay tuned, folks. Legendary resistances, 3 per day. Superstar, she has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. She, her bandmates, backup dancers, and security are all immune to later actions. Now, I'm using she pronouns here. You can use whatever pronouns you like. This just so happened to be a group kind of based off new genes. So I decided to go with she, her pronouns. Once again, does not have to be an idol group. Can't even be a punk band. Could make it cool. Pierce the veil. Woo. Anyways, graceful dancer. Leader can use movement normally in difficult terrain. Uh, and here is the big, here's the big section. Uh, you can't hang. She can, the K-pop leader can only be hit by creatures with the same audience rating as her and gains a plus 10 bonus to saving throws against spells cast by creatures that have a lesser AR than her. Uh, so that's the big thing. So your party is going to start out with zero audience rating, and they need to get to five to hit her. They can gain audience rating by landing attacks, succeeding saving throws, and then also succeeding a DC 15 performance check at the end of their turn. They can lose audience rating by missing attacks, failing saving throws, and failing a DC 15 performance at the end of their turn. Roleplay moments, I please encourage great flavoring and roleplay moments from your players. Really get them to describe what their characters are doing even more so than usual in this fight because I reward if there is like a really sick moment. Hey, maybe they gain more than one audience rating or because the flavoring idea was so sick, even if they maybe messed up a performance check, I didn't penalize if they got hit or failed a saving throw. So. Uh, that is something to look out for. Uh, nat 20s or nat 1s or beating or failing the DC by 5 can get you that plus or minus 2. So there's more than just the minus 1 plus 1 for gaining audience rating. Something that I didn't do but I would recommend taking advantage of is if you're using roll 20, have like an actual visual bar to show what their current audience rating is at. I didn't take advantage of that and it was a little bit hard to track sometimes. So having that little visual aid for your players will... Be a nice quality of life thing for them. Spell casting, going more into the bar. This is kind of basic stuff. DC 18 plus 10 to hit spell attacks. It should be spell hit attacks. Whoopsies. Um, she has the following spells prepared. Uh, this stuff is all kind of like, you know, uh, pretty standard. Um, pyrotechnics, they're on stage. It's fun. Uh, a lot of suggestion, compulsion, confusion, dominate person. 
Uh, and then, of course, the healing words, the mask, your wounds, silvery bar, all barred stuff. One that might look a little weird is Thunder Wave, and that is because of the environment. There is a mosh pit. It is bad if you get knocked into the mosh pit, so that's why I had her have Thunder Wave. We'll get into that when we get more into the layer actions. Home run hit. On a successful melee attack hit, a creature is sent flying into the mosh pit. Um, actions, spell casting, leader can cast one of their spells above, the spiritual hammer. Now you might be wondering, Brandon, why the hell does this K-pop idol have an hammer? Good question. I pulled this from an Amori fight. I don't know if you guys have played the video game Amori. It's a fantastic RPG. I'm actually going to start streaming it pretty soon on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash fly nimbus. Uh, I'm going to set up a stream schedule soon enough. If you want to get notified when that's happening, uh, feel free to subscribe or follow me on Instagram. Uh, but be sure to look out for that if you are interested in Amori. But that's enough of the shameless plugging. Uh, there's a boss there that's kind of an idol figure that has a spiritual hammer. Hence that. Bonus action, Spartic Inspiration, of course, equal to, so she gets six. Spartic Inspiration of 1d10. The leader can take three legendary actions, choosing from the options below. Uh, cantrips, uh, Bardic Inspirations, uh, and Silvery Barbs. So the leader can cho choose to turn one of her legendary actions into a reaction. So really tossing out all those Bardics and Silvery Barbs, making a mess of the place. Really trying to, like, the, the, the key with this fight was that she would run around not being able to be hit, supporting her her group members who probably were getting hit, and then also uh, just kind of having a splendid old time with that, really just providing a lot of support um, and trying to really urge the players to uh, really, like, get that higher audience rating. Um, layer action. So the environment in which this was held was a big giant concert menu. Uh, it was one of their tours during their world tour. Like, I even made a K-pop playlist. Like, that would be their set list for this. I had a lot of fun with it. I encourage you to do the same. Really immerses your players. So, uh, an array of magical lasers and lights flood in zigzag across the stage. Draw a straight line of 30 to 5 by 5 feet. Each creature in the area must make a DC dex 15 saving throw. Roll 1d6 to see which color. Uh, lightning damage fire damage cold damage restrained this is like you know this might look familiar to you i just pulled it from it's like a lesser version of prismatic ray love that spell it's a prismatic ray prismatic spray i can't remember but it's one of the ones that have prism in it um another one leader calls in her backup dancers to crowd a stage making it difficult to rain leader calls security four security guards arrive ac 11 plus five to hit eight damage 10 hp so this is fodder for your players to feel good about themselves on top of that but also to get their ar up you know killing these guys and just kind of <laughs> it, it, it not being a gladiator ring but it being a k-pop stage and them just killing security and then the crowd getting hyped up for that and giving them a higher audience rating can be discussed but that's just how that is, this is just how i had it <laughs> um or you know the k-pop group gets the crowd hyped up and they all receive 1d6 plus call on healing here's the mosh pit a 15 foot circle mosh pit next to the stage that the creature enters it for the first time or starts to turn in the area dc 15 strength save or take 18 40 10, 48 bludgeoning damage areas considered difficult terrain to get back on stage i also kind of took inspiration for this fight being um like the broadway fight from the unsleeping city in dimension 20 if you haven't seen dimension 20 what are you doing it's phenomenal shout out to brendan lee mulligan and the crew um here's the members i had four of these members along with the leader so five in total uh each of them have 50 hp armor class of 14 their audience rating is only two stars, so players are going to want to use them to get to the higher stars to be able to hit the leader. Um, slightly lower charisma, uh, dex is the same, slightly lower con, that's about it for the stat block differences. Uh, you can't hang, same dealio, plus 10 bonus. Um, can't be hit, unless the creatures have the same audience rating as them, so that's where you get the security from, right? Gotta have that security so the players can gain that audience rating. Come on and dance. When taking the attack action, the member can choose to grapple using acrobatics instead of athletics. On a success, the member can move the grapple creature to an unoccupied space they're choosing up to 10 feet away. Upon moving, the creature is let go and is no longer grappled. This can... Th so, how I structured this fight was that you would position the group members around the leader so that the players were forced to take opportunity attacks, would, would get opportunity attacks, or... They could get thrown off stage this 
comes in, I'll skip ahead a little bit here. Happy Feet. Member can make an opportunity attack as a hostile creature enters their space. So this is kind of like, um, also Graceful Dancer, I'm just going to clips frame, but this is kind of like, you know, getting you to dance with them and swinging you around, throw all your players around, and then boom, getting opportunity attacks left and right. It's 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 dangerous it's dangerous out here uh very simple they got some kick plus six to hit reach five feet one target one da plus four bludgeoning and of course good old vicious mockery uh but that's basically the gist of this boss fight if you want to run it uh let me know how it goes and let me know what you would like to see next i'm making boss sheets left and right why not let's start up a queue but i hope you all enjoyed um, this will be available for download in the description below. And if you have interest in this, go check out my other boss sheets and my other D&D videos that I've made in the past. That mean a lot to me. If you like to subscribe, hey, that subscribe button's free. What am I telling you? Um, that's all I got. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.